Hey there, this is Peter Gary. Today I want to show you a quick video on how to put your force lightning into some live action footage. I didn't cover this step in the last video tutorial because I thought this was, you know, kind of obvious, but a lot of people uh, ran into problems doing that, so I'll just give you this quick video. Okay, as you can see, I've already set up a little lightning composition here. Now I'm importing uh, some footage. Okay, in my case it's just a still image, but I hope this will still serve the purpose. Okay, um, drag your footage into your new composition. Now um, select your lightning composition and drag this into the same composition as well. Place it above your footage and set the transfer mode to add. Now you see, a lot of people have now the problem that uh, the lightning glow is somehow cut off at the borders here. This is because the lightning composition is a lot smaller than uh, the footage composition. So we go back to the lightning comp and change the comp settings. So we uh, increase the size a bit. Keep in mind that uh, you'll probably also have to alter the size of the layers as well. Okay, now you see... Uh, the force lightning composition has the same size as your footage, so there's no more uh, cutting off problem. Okay, um, but we still want uh, to change the starting and ending point of the lightning, so we go back to the lightning composition and we'll just drag the footage into it and place it on top of the lightning. Uh, then change the mode to add or screen so that we can see the lightning under it. Now you can change uh, the origin point and the ending point because you now uh, see what's going on. If you're done with this, in your case we'll probably have uh, some moving video with moving actors so you will have to uh, track the actors movements and keyframe the origin and the ending points. Um, but when you're done you can uh, just hide this layer here. Now you have uh, the lighting on black again. And if you look back into the other composition, you now have uh, the lighting all correctly set up. Okay, um, now look at it. Okay, it pretty much looks like uh, the apprentice is uh, shooting lightning at Yoda. Now you have the problem that because of the distortion effects, the starting point will go all over the place and not stick to the hands or the fingers of the actor. Now you can work around this, uh, there's a complicated method for this. You can, uh, of course, make uh, the origin of the lightning really follow the, uh, the finger in like every frame, uh, but this, it's very tedious, so I prefer to just uh, fake a bit. Now make a new solid, same size as the composition, make it black and set the mode to add and simply add some uh, generate lens flare effect. I know a lot of people don't like the lens flare but in this case it will pretty much serve as well. Just place the lens flare over here and make it not too bright but bright enough that it will pretty much cover uh, the whole starting point of the lighting. So, okay See now, uh, the origin of the lighting is now so bright that you actually won't see uh, how it goes all over the place because of this nice lens flare here. You can of course use your own lens flare or do whatever you like. Um, you can also uh, duplicate that lens flare thing and put it over here so that and make it, uh, you know, go up and down the lightsaber that, so that it looks like Yoda is really having a hard time deflecting the lightning. You can even uh, make it brighter, bigger, or whatever. Okay, now we have the bonding box problem again. So I'll just uh, go back. Okay, now you have uh, some pretty nice force lighting on what could be some live action footage. You see, there's no big deal about this. I hope this wasn't too complicated and it, um, that it helps you, that you have fun in the future with this effect. And I hope. Uh, everything's clear now. Okay, if you're still confused, if you still have problems, as ever you can leave me a comment, you can uh, send me a message via YouTube, you can even email me, uh, 
don't forget to check out my channel and my blog, subscribe if you like it, rate it, and I hope you're uh, really getting around with this. Okay, have fun!